Welcome back, everybody. Uh, to a, it's not Breath Edge today. Sorry, we're we're gonna give Breath Edge a break uh, because we we're in kind of a rush this week. Yeah. To get as many done as we can, so we're gonna go through a bunch of ROMs. Chad, you you suggested this one to me. Mm hmm. And this is a game I used to play in my childhood. Uh, the, it, when I was a child, there were two two boxing games that existed to me. There was Punch Out, Mike Tyson's Punch Out. And then there was, uh, there was and then there gem. was, well, let's see it. I'll let the game speak for itself. <laughs> yeah. Get... No, no, there's no sound. Let it, let it I'm just turning go. off the FPS display. Oh yeah. I don't need that. <laughs> All right. My favorite intro to a game ever. Come on, Joe beam B. software. George Foreman's KO boxing. Yeah. George Foreman's KO boxing. George Foreman's Kale Boxing. It's one of my favorite video game speaking parts ever. Oh, good music, too. Hang on. Let me set the... Uh... Yeah, this game was... Uh, from what I remember, I haven't played it in forever. So I, I honestly only remember George Foreman's Kale Boxing. <laughs> so you don't remember how, how the game is itself? Not at or? all. Oh. I mean, it's a boxing game. It's got George Foreman. It's made by Beam. Beam was always a good company. Set config, controllers, three-button pad. All right, it sees my controller. I'm trying to think of what else Beam made. A uh, bunch of uh, games from uh, from my past. Uh, shift to consoles and PCs. And oh, Beam here we go. Software. Um, oh, Beam Software did the Back to the Future games for the NES. Oh, okay. They also did the Itchy and Scratchy Miniature Golf Madness game for Game Boy. I don't remember that. As well as the True Lies game. Oh, we gotta play that. Why didn't we do uh, that? Did we? No, we did Stallone Day. We need an Arnold Day. That's true. We should do an Arnold Day. I know this is the we last gotta, action hero game. Uh, there's a bunch. I mean, we've got Predator. We've got um, Last Action Hero. Uh, ooh, True Lies. Oh, I don't get to choose a day. I just... I'm jo Wait. Lorenzo Luciano. Wait, they're just throwing me. Is this a game about you only having start, one start. fight? No, no, no. It couldn't I'm be. Big, I'm bad, and I'm back. Yeah. You heard him. Ow, ow. Are you actually playing? Yes. All right, so uh, so you're George Foreman. Oh, oh, I'm hitting him. Look at me. Whoa. Let me hit him. Take that, Luciano. Look at it. He's got a deadly left. It's just a deadly <laughs> left jab. Oh, he's back. Just a up. flurry of jabs. Oh, oh, oh! oh How am I? Oh, he wound it up! I'm getting real lucky here. Hey, you keep doing that. I'm gonna look up controls. For oh you. no! Look at my my face. George Foreman's eye is closed. Oh no! George Foreman's KO boxing uh, controls. I'm trying. Oh, oh! I'm down. No! Two. George. Three, Wait. How do four, I? Five. Six. Seven. Eight. No, George. Nine. Five, my God! Whoa, I'm up! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got the manual. Hold on. Uh, pre-fight preparations. Pre-fight? There was no pre-fight. Oh no, that's your problem. You didn't warm up. There was no option to. <laughs> oh no. Hang on. All right, well, so on the Sega Genesis control, you have Woo! three buttons. Sure did. You have A, B, and C. A is left punch, B is right punch, and C is delivers super punch. There's a super punch? Yep. Oh, look at How did you um, take me down so good? Oh, I, so A and B are right and left hook, are left and right hook. Okay, that I got. If you hold up when you do it, it's left and right jab. Got it. Um, I don't see anything about an uppercut or anything, so I'm thinking you just have hooks, jabs, and a super punch. Dude, this is brought to us by Doritos. Oh, thank God. I want Doritos so bad after seeing Finally, this now. Getting the product placement they so rightly deserve. When I see that Doritos logo, I think of the taco flavor ones. Yeah. Which I love. They're good. You know, we had the ultimate cheddar Doritos they put out recently. Uh, it was like a limited edition thing. They just taste like nacho cheese Doritos. Yeah. Which is fine. It's just, you know, I wanted, to, I wanted a new... Oh! Wanted a new experience. Okay. So, I'm doing, I'm doing all right. No, no, I'm not. 
So we're trying to try to pepper in some uh, some some jabs. You got oh. some hooks. Oh look! Oh, oh look at that! Oh no! Don't, for don't forget, you got that super punch. Yeah, but how do I? Oh, I think I think that must have been the glove symbol that came up in the upper left last time. Oh, that maybe. Yeah, yeah. That thing. Got him! Woo! Oh, he never saw that super punch coming. Oh, I'm down again. Uh, Ow. Oh no! Three. Um. There's Oh wait! I just just smash buttons. I don't know what to do. Seven. Um, we're good. We're good. Okay. All right, Luciano, oh, no. you're going down. All right, Lorenzo Bullet Luciano is a veteran and journeyman in the boxing world. No. Nicknamed Bullet for his lightning quick jabs and fast footwork. A tough, keen boxer. Ow! Who's been uh, around? Oh, I think you're pausing for dramatic effect. Well, I was pausing for trying to read this terrible scan of the of the manual. Dude, look at that! I have a seventy four percent seventy percent total hit percentage. Yeah, you've been landing. You've definitely landed more hits. He's landed some more substantial hits. Well, but you landed more. That's what it's really all about. Look at him. Like I still have more health than he does too. Yeah, but you went down twice. But why am I going? That's what I'm curious about. Is why. How do I block? Ah, uh, that's the question, isn't it? Yep. I'm gonna punch uh, your out, Georgie. Oh no! No, you, Georgie, hide! Did you hear that? Oh my God, I've been threatened. Uh, take this. Punches, blocking, and recovery. Oh. Let's see. Is it down? I'm trying to. Come on, I just want to knock him down once. He's almost there. Got him. All right. All right, when you're down, rapidly tap A and B. Three. Um, oh, oh no, look at his health bar. I'm, I'm in trouble. Down arrow blocks punches. Oh. Just like just like punch out. Right. Oh, there he goes. I'm in trouble. I'm going down any second. You gotta super punch this sucker. I don't have a super punch. Come on, you gotta super punch this sucker. Look at this. One more hit and I'm down. He is so bad. Oh! No! He is so bad! He wound up. Oh, no! Wait, it's okay. It's okay. A and B, A and B, A and B. Come I on, am, you I got am. this. You got this, George. Come on, Georgie. Five. We're up. We're up. Oh, God. Hey, that was a cheap shot. I wasn't ready. This must be George Foreman in his later years. This well, must be like selling grills, George Foreman. Well, no. Remember, he came back uh, out of retirement. And yeah, and he did well. He won the title he, on his yeah. first match back. Oh. All right. Judge's decision. No, I lost. A, I, I got hit a lot. Yeah. Wait, no, no, no. I didn't get hit a lot. I got knocked down a lot. Yes. But I did better, I think, on points. I don't know. Although, knockdowns don't help that. I don't know. I don't understand no, boxing, nor do I mean to. No! Oh, look at him flex! Look at his smile in the bottom right. Oh, poor oh. George. <laughs> Jesus, George. This is the moment where he decided to go sell grills. What came first, the grill or his return? I thought he was selling grills George even before Foreman, he. KO boxing. <laughs> KO boxing. Oh, um, man. I'm pretty sure the grills came first. Uh, George, oh here, Foreman grill release date. I love my Nin Foreman. Ninety four. Ninety four. So ninety four was Foreman grill. George Foreman. Oh, that's the year this game came out, I think. Or no. Turn. This is 92. Never mind. Wait. I think this said it was Oh, 92. no, no. He came back in 87. No, no. But he also came back when we were like. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I was going to say. Wait a sec. He must have had multiple. So that's ones. when he was. Look, I'm big. I'm back. I'm bad. I'm back. And I'm hungry. Hungry for the heavyweight championship. I'm going to teach these young pups the ABCs of boxing. These kids may, have be, may be tough, but they haven't been hit. So they've been hit by Big George Foreman. This is when he was all smiles, George Foreman. You could tell he was going to sell a lot of grills. All right, hold on. This no, isn't no, me no. now. This is just the demo. Is that all this game is, is one match? Uh, No, no, no. There's a bunch of fighters. Or I guess you don't choose your own fighter. You just I think it's you You play the you play as Foreman and you go through everybody. So it's basically punch out. So Yeah, yeah. You're Lil Mac, essentially, except he's your Big George. Little Mac, Big George. Whoa. I could have been doing this good? 
So, yeah, that was dang. Could have learned something. Ooh. One. Ninety-four. So it was the same year. Four. Five. Six. Well, you know what? At least the real George did better than not than this fake one. Look at that! He just—that's what I could have been. I could have done. I wasn't even looking. I was reading facts about his return to boxing and the grill. Performance KO boxing. <laughs> okay, everybody. Thank you for watching today. Performance KO boxing. This week it's going to be a lot of short, uh, short old console games. Who knows? You know, hits, I'm just curious. Hit start again, real quick. Okay. Does it just throw you back in with him? One player. Yeah. That's all. It went from this to this. I so, don't understand this game. It's it's basically it's it's punch out. That's all that's what it is. I'm so. just here for the eye candy. Yeah. Hey. That Luciano is a looker. Look at him, man. Eh? Uh make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Tune back in tomorrow and we'll play another game like this. Uh, another game I mean, not a lot like this. Wait, what? See you remind you you remember this boxing game. I remembered a different one. Welcome back, everybody! It's time for another boxing game. This is one that I remembered renting from RX Place by my house growing up. Let's see if I played this one. See? It's Riddick Bow! Oh! Riddick Bow Boxing! I forgot about Riddick Bow! Riddick Bow was a very short-lived champion. Uh, and that looks nothing like him. No, it doesn't. You just saw what he looked like. That's what they decided he, he looked like. Steve Thompson, Ice, Ian Irwin. It definitely looks like Steve Thompson. If, if you could, whoa, Dwayne Edwards. Ivan I'm, Horn and Dwayne Edwards look the same. I mean, have you seen them in real life? I guess you're right. Oh God, look at E. Suzuki. Loco Lopez. They're starting to look like Final Fight villains. Yeah, yeah, they are. You gotta look up Riddick Bowe, though, because from what I remember, him winning the, the championship, I think, was a little bit of a surprise. And then he apparently just was not good about training and then lost yeah. the title relatively quickly, if I'm remembering correctly. So I'm gonna be Riddick Bowe, and I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom and fight the make weakest. It all the way? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna be the gonna strongest. You're just gonna annihilate him. I hope so. Uh, rank one against rank twenty-five. Fight. I always liked the look of this Fight. game. Oh, <laughs> oh, hey, hey. But yeah, this is a this is a good-looking game. I totally forgot about this game. In I, uh, I think it was in Europe it, or. Yeah. In his uh, in Mexico, it was Cesar Cesar Chavez boxing, I, I think. Uh, okay. Uh, so they like, yeah, just localize do a, it, do a skin swap, and yeah, yeah. basically. But I would, yeah, I like the look of this game. I always and, enjoyed it. You know, it. What? I actually like the look of this too. I don't necessarily like that it's this close up, but well, uh, but it is cool. You could play the game by looking at the little guys on top. I want to hear what he says. Plus, I was always a sucker as a kid uh, for oh. any game that put effort into their audiences in games. Dude, I like... Okay, if you hold L and R, he rotates around Yeah, him. I see that. And I like That's the parallax crazy. effect with the crowd in the background. That's really cool. Oh, I should probably start boxing this man. Oh, right. Ooh. I mean, the, yeah, that's... They technically made a 3D yeah. environment game. That's, that's pretty great. If you All think right. about it. Come on, come on! You're going down, right to the gut. Oh, that's right. You can see their little their little belly shake when they get punched in the bottom. Oh yeah. I don't even know yeah, what I'm doing to block, but it's working. I don't know, but keep bottom punching him. His belly's shaking. Oh, oh! Look at it go. Oh, look at his shake. Oh, you think you could upset the great Riddick uh, Bow? Oh, he's gonna mess all over the mat. Oh, oh, hey, there we go. Oh, he's almost down. We're gonna get him. Ooh. 18 seconds in this round. Come on, I wanna knock him down before the end of the Oh, I don't know. He's now Poor he's guarding. guy's gut. It's being hammered, just hammered. He's like, please, just punch me in the face! Please! <laughs> if my liver can't take his it. His blood trickles down his shorts. 
<laughs> There's a guy I follow on uh, on Imger uh, or Imger, however you want to say it, uh, who is like he ha he's like a renowned scholar in the world of boxing, uh, and he just puts up like gifs. He'll tell the story of a, of just one fight. Uh, with pictures and gifs of like the fight happening while explaining what happened in the fight. Yes, it's E S C U D O N B K. That's his name, Eskidon B K. And it is fascinating stuff. But when he talks about body shots, I never considered that he said like if a one solid unblocked shot to the liver can just not completely oh, yeah. destroy somebody. Yeah, it's and funny. He, he like would show it, those. As a kid, like I would watch boxing because my like my relatives would all gather around and they'd watch a fight or something. And yeah, I I remember as a kid always like looking at you would look at them punch like oh. punch each other in the like the stomach or something, and you would think it didn't look that impressive. Yeah, it was because like back when we were kids, I was watching Tyson or Butterbean. Butterbean, yeah, I remember him. Like they'd punch somebody in the face, and you're like, I think they killed them. They're dead. So when you see these body shots, you're like, oh, that's just what they're doing to build up to the big face punch. But then later in life, you realize, like, oh, <laughs> oh, I think they were killing them. That's where the organs <laughs> are. <laughs> yeah. It's like that's the worst place Four, to get it. Five, like, sure, the head will rattle you, seven, maybe give you a concussion, eight, some brain damage, nine, but like. Ten. Oh, I'd rather yeah. a concussion than fucking bleeding out of my pisser. True. Uh, all right, I won my first fight. Now Granted, I'm a... that's probably the concussion's probably far worse in the long run. Long run, yes. Uh, now We're... I am <laughs> not concerned about long run. Hang on, now I'm going to be the lowest ranked guy against Riddick Bo, just to see what the the difference in in the experience. John Bennett, who we just saw get annihilated. His name. Yeah, you're right. Hey, he was a bit of a shit heel. Was he? Yeah. Didn't he really like us? Nah, uh, he was weird. I that was the other. That was a. That was. Oh, okay. That was. Uh, That's what I'm thinking of. Right. All right, come on, Riddick. Oh, oh, jeez. John <laughs> <This> was. Uh, <laughs> we might want to bleep their names. <laughs> Oh yeah. I okay. Like, I don't know. I mean, I'll, I, I'll, well, wait a minute. We already said that's what his name is. I'd have to so, blur out the entire. Yeah, I know. Anyway, uh, well, why don't we not the, tell uh, any bad stories about him? Well, then? no, no, no. But he was he was the inspiration for the back when we were doing some indie mogul stuff before we Ow. were doing full on indie mogul. But when we would used to work, uh, we would do little Four, shorts for uh, indie mogul when six. Justin yeah and Eric ran it. We did a G.I. Joe short. Yeah, but you can see those uh, in a playlist on this channel, We, I think. You see it on here or yeah. on Hey Killer. Yeah, it's down, it's down at the bottom. Okay. Um, it just says, like, indie yeah, mogul shorts that we were we did. So the G.I. Joe one in the very three, beginning when uh, four, I'm five, talking to Sergeant six, Slaughter and I tell him that I want something eight, like, uh, nine, like so I want entry-level work in the military, something like a... <laughs> This somebody I know was guarding refrigerators. Oh, was that him? That was him. <laughs> that, was, that was his. That was, was his, a good uh, video. His, his job. That was a great video. That, 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 that vehicle explosion, considering we did it in like 2009, 2010, whenever it was. It was fantastic. Pretty great. All right, well. That's the experience of Riddick Bow Boxing, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I hope, hope you enjoy it. Man, he Body shots! He destroyed me. <laughs> destroyed the shit out of poor, poor old Bennett. Uh, well, thanks for watching today, everybody. It, again, we're, we're powering through uh, all these old console games because we are we got to be quick about it this week. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, let us know what you'd, other ROMs you'd like uh, to see us do in the future. Yeah, any old games you uh, you remember growing up on that you think we'd get a hoot or a kick out of? Uh, yeah. yeah let us know. Ooh, and, uh, and tomorrow we'll do another one. Uh, we're going to body shot the piss out of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, except it's going to be a little... Uh, it's going to be a lot worse, but you'll see. What are we playing? Find out tomorrow. Oh!